Ever wondered how plants, these silent beings, function and survive? Welcome to the fascinating world of plant anatomy, where we delve beneath the surface and explore the intricate workings of these living organisms. Just as we have bones and tissues that form an intricate network enabling us to function, plants too have a complex internal structure. This structure, composed of a variety of tissues and tissue systems, is what allows them to thrive, grow and adapt to their environment. Understanding plant anatomy isn't just for botanists or garden enthusiasts, it's a universal subject that has far-reaching implications from agriculture and food production to climate change and environmental conservation. So whether you're a science enthusiast or just curious about the world around you, the anatomy of plants holds a wealth of knowledge waiting to be discovered. Dive in as we unravel the secrets of plant anatomy. Plants are more than just green structures. They are made up of different types of tissues. Now let's dive a bit deeper into the world of plant anatomy and explore these fascinating tissues. Firstly, we have the dermal tissue. Think of this as the plant's skin. It's the outermost layer that acts as a protective shield covering all parts of the plant that emerge above the ground. This is the first line of defense against the harsh outside world. It's like the tough skin on your hands that protects your delicate inner tissues. In plants, this dermal tissue includes the epidermis and periderm, helping to prevent water loss and ward off invading insects. Next up, we have the vascular tissue. This is the plant's transport system, akin to our own circulatory system. It's composed of two major components, Xylem and phloem. Xylem is responsible for transporting water and dissolved minerals absorbed from the roots to the rest of the plant. Imagine it as a series of tiny straws sucking up water from the ground. On the other hand, phloem transports the food synthesized in the leaves to every other part of the plant, much like how our blood vessels carry nutrients to our cells. Lastly, we have the ground tissue. This is the filler and functionary of the plant. It's like the stuffing in a teddy bear, filling up the space between the skin and the internal structure, but it's more than just a filler, it's also a worker. Ground tissue is where photosynthesis happens, where food is stored, and where much of a plant's growth occurs. It includes three types of cells, parenchyma, colenchyma, and uh, sclerenchyma, each with their own unique roles in supporting, strengthening, and storing nutrients. So, uh, these three tissue types interplay to keep the plant alive and growing. They work together much like the different organs in our body, each performing its unique function yet contributing to the overall life and vigor of the plant. Understanding these tissues and their roles is a key step in the journey to unravel the intricate world of plant anatomy. Now that we know the types of tissues, let's delve deeper into the tissue systems. These systems are the building blocks of plant anatomy, each with a unique role, but all are interconnected and crucial to a plant's growth and survival. First up, we have the epidermis, the outermost layer of the plant. Acting as the plant's skin, the epidermis forms a protective barrier against water loss, physical injury, and invasion by disease-causing organisms. It also plays a central role in light absorption and gas exchange, enabling the plant to photosynthesize, essentially to breathe and feed itself. Next in line is the ground tissue system, the unsung hero of plant tissues. Found between the epidermis and the vascular tissue, it's primarily responsible for photosynthesis, storage and support. It's like the plant's pantry and backbone all rolled into one. The ground tissue system is further divided into three types, parenchyma, colenchyma, and sclerenchyma, each with their specific functions, and together they form the bulk of the plant body. Last but certainly not least, we have the vascular tissue system, the plant's transportation network. Comprising two main types of tissues, xylem and phloem, it's like the plant's highways, moving water, nutrients and sugars to where they're needed most. The xylem transports water and dissolved minerals from the roots to the rest of the plant, while the phloem moves sugars produced by photosynthesis from the leaves to the other parts of the plant. So there you have it, the three tissue systems, the epidermis, the ground tissue system, and the vascular tissue system. Each system has its unique role, but they all work together, forming an intricate network that ensures the plant's survival. From protection to photosynthesis, from storage to transportation, these tissue systems are the life force of every plant. These tissue systems work together to ensure the plant functions efficiently. 
With the knowledge of tissues and tissue systems, we can now explore the anatomy of various plant parts. Delving into the fascinating world of plant anatomy, let's first turn our attention to the roots. A root's primary function is anchorage, securing the plant firmly into the ground, but the roots are more than just anchors. They are also responsible for absorbing water and nutrients from the soil. This is made possible by the presence of root hairs, which increase the surface area for absorption. These root hairs are the product of epidermal tissue, one of the three primary plant tissues we've discussed earlier. Moving upwards, we encounter the stem, the plant's backbone providing support and stability. The stem's anatomy showcases a brilliant way that plants have adapted to their environment. The outermost layer of the stem, or the epidermis, protects the plant from various environmental factors. The cortex, made up of parenchyma tissue, stores food and helps transport water and nutrients from the roots to the leaves. Additionally, the stem contains vascular tissue, made up of xylem and phloem, which are responsible for transporting water, nutrients and sugars throughout the plant. Now let's turn our focus to the leaves. If the stem is the backbone, then the leaves are the lungs of the plant. They are responsible for photosynthesis, the process of converting sunlight into chemical energy. The upper layer of the leaf, or the epidermis, is coated with a waxy cuticle that prevents water loss. Beneath the epidermis lies the mesophyll, where the magic of photosynthesis happens. This layer is rich in chloroplasts, the tiny factories where sunlight, carbon dioxide and water are transformed into glucose, the plant's food. The mesophyll is also divided into two types of tissue, palisade parenchyma, which is packed with chloroplasts and responsible for most photosynthesis, and spongy parenchyma, which allows gases to move in and out. This intricate dance of tissues and tissue systems within the roots, stem and leaves allows the plant to perform its vital functions. The roots absorb, the stem supports and transports, and the leaves generate food. It's a beautifully choreographed ballet of survival where every part has a role to play. From the epidermal tissue that forms the protective outer layers to the parenchyma that stores and transports nutrients and the vascular tissue that forms the plant's transport system, each tissue type contributes to the plant's growth, survival, and reproduction. It's a testament to the remarkable complexity and elegance of nature. Every part of a plant, from the minute root hair to the broad leaf, has a role to play. This understanding of plant anatomy not only deepens our appreciation for these vital organisms, but also opens up new avenues for research and innovation in fields like agriculture, botany, and environmental science. Now let's recap what we've learned about plant anatomy. We started off by diving into the fascinating world of plant tissues. We discovered that plants are made up of three basic tissue types, dermal, vascular and ground tissues. Each one of these tissues plays a unique role in helping the plant to grow, transport nutrients and protect itself from the environment. Then we ventured into the intricacies of tissue systems. We learned that plant tissues don't work in isolation. Instead, they form sophisticated tissue systems, namely the epidermis, the vascular system, and the ground tissue system. These systems work in harmony to ensure the overall health and functioning of the plant. We took a closer look at how these tissues and systems shape the anatomy of different plant parts. We explored how the dermal tissue forms the protective outer layer of leaves, stems, and roots, we saw how the vascular tissue forms the plant's transportation network, carrying water and nutrients from the roots to the leaves. And we learned how the ground tissue fills the space between, providing structure and storing food. In the end, it's clear that the world of plant anatomy is a complex and beautiful one. Understanding it not only helps us appreciate the intricate workings of plants, but also equips us with the knowledge to care for them better. Understanding plant anatomy helps us appreciate the complexity and beauty of these silent beings. This journey into the world of plant anatomy has been enlightening. We've delved into the basic tissues and tissue systems and how they form the intricate anatomy of different plant parts. But remember, this is just the tip of the iceberg. There's a whole fascinating world out there waiting for you to explore. So keep that curiosity alive, keep learning, and you'll discover astounding facts about the world we live in. Subscribe for more mind-blowing insights into the world around us.